Hello, my name is Joshua Keith with Agility Communications Group. Today we will be looking at training on the Yealink T52S phone. We will be training on basic call handling, checking the voicemail, and menus and features. In order to make a call, start by dialing the number of the person that you wish to reach. If it's an outside number, dial 9 and then the number. If it's an internal extension, go ahead and dial the extension number. Once you have entered the number, hit pound in order to send the call. You'll notice that the speakerphone button automatically activates whenever we start a call. You are able to switch between the handset and the headset. To use the handset, just pick it up and the call automatically routes through it. To use the headset, hit the headset button and you'll notice that it turns green. You're able to switch back to the speakerphone by hitting the speakerphone button. If during the call you wish to mute yourself, choose the mute button at the top of the number pad and it will turn red to show that it's active. In order to unmute yourself, just hit the button again. When on a call, the bottom four soft buttons will be available for call handling. In order to put a call on hold, just hit the hold button. Now the hold button has been replaced by the resume button. In order to pick the call back up, hit the resume button. In order to transfer a call, use the transfer soft key. You'll notice that this automatically places the first call on hold, indicated by the green blinking light. The second call is also activated automatically. Enter the extension of the person that you're wanting to transfer to, and then hit pound to send the call. You are able to talk to the person and find out if they want to accept the call. If they do want to accept the call, you can hit transfer to send the call to them. However, if they decline the call, you can hit the cancel button, and then this takes you back to the first call. Hit resume and ask them if they have a message for the person that they were trying to reach. The phone system notifies you that you have a voicemail with a red blinking light at the top of the phone. It also will give you an icon at the top of the LCD screen with a number of the amount of voicemails. In order to check your voicemail, hit the voicemail button. This will dial the voicemail on the phone system. It will ask you for the extension followed by the pound sign and then the password followed by the pound sign and then prompt you to check any unheard messages. In order to check your call history, from the main screen, hit the bottom left soft key. From here, you're able to take a look at the calls that you have seen. In order to navigate any menu, Use the arrow pad on the left side of the phone. It starts out by taking a look at all calls, but we can scroll to the right to see missed calls, placed calls, received calls, or forwarded calls. We can also scroll down in order to get more of the call history. The soft buttons on the bottom of the phone give us more options as well. In order to get back to the screen that we came from, we hit the X button underneath the arrow pad. In order to view your company directory, hit the directory soft button, which is the second from the left underneath the phone on the main screen. From here, you can go through and again choose your menu items using the left arrow pad. Hit OK on the option that you want, your company name, then choose the department that you want, and now you're able to scroll through and look at an alphabetical listing of the people in your company. In order to activate the Do Not Disturb, which will send all of your calls directly to voicemail without ringing the phone, hit the DND button on the right side of the phone. You'll notice that the button turns green in order to show that it is active. Also, on top of the LCD screen, there is a Do Not Disturb icon showing the same feature. To turn off the Do Not Disturb, hit the same button. In order to activate call forwarding, hit the Call Forward button on the right side of the phone. Then we'll use the arrow pad. First we will hit the right arrow in order to enable Always Forward. Then we will scroll down to the Forward 2 and enter our phone number. Make sure that you enter a 9 if it's an outside phone that you are forwarding to, and then enter the number. Once we have entered the number, we hit Save, and now the config has been updated. You'll notice that the green light is on, indicating that call forwarding is active, 
and that the call forward icon is on at the top of the LCD screen. Hit the button again in order to turn the call forwarding off. Thank you for watching our video on the Yealink T52S phone. If you have support questions, please send an email to support at agilitycg.com. For more information about our Agility ONTAP cloud-based offering or support contracts which come with free upgrades, please email info at agilitycg.com and visit our website for more information about us as a company at www.agilitycg.com. Thank you.